Hi, my dad has wet macular degeneration in both of his eyes. He is almost legally blind and there's a lot of things he can't do. And one of the things that he can't do is watch TV. Uh, he can see what is on the TV, but he really can't make out what is on there. We have a 40 inch TV, which is a large TV, but for him to watch anything that he really wants to watch, he has to sit right up next to the TV sideways so he can see the screen. And we come up with an idea of this. This is a 19 inch TV and I mounted it onto a piece of one by two rectangular tubing. Down below there are two tabs that I welded onto the tubing and we bolted it right onto the stand here. The um, TV is mounted to um, an articulating arm and what you can do with the TV is he can bring it over and have it at whatever angle he wants to have it at to watch and he says now for the first time in six years he can actually see what a person looks like on the TV and, and usually my dad will have it about like this looking straight now we do not have the sound hooked up to this because there's a tendency that you can get an echo uh, so all we do is just have the video cable hooked into the back of the TV right here and it runs underneath the carpet over to our satellite box and you can put this out of the way very easily you can even bring the recliner up and bring it around and watch it push it back and it has worked out very very well for us now to show you how this is hooked up on the back of this TV you'll have for the video input an RCA cable and the RCA cable uh, is this it's not your HDMI and you'll see a video then an R and a left L the video which is yellow yellow is always video then the R or red is right and the white is always for the left and like I said we just took the video and just hooked it into where the video input is and then that gives us the signal to the TV. Now I'm going to show you over on the satellite box what we had to do to hook that up to bring the signal over to here. Now this is the direct TV satellite box. Over here is the HDMI out. Then you will see a red and a white RCA jack. That goes uh, out of the box, which is standard definition, over to our VCR because we still run, want to record off of the satellite box. This gray cable you'll see is actually a Y and as I follow it over you'll see that it is plugged into a yellow and that yellow video goes over to the VCR so we still get the video and the audio over to our VCR to record but since we only had one RCA out what I did was put a gray Y cable and then it just goes to another cable which goes underneath our carpet over to the TV and that's all you have to do to connect your satellite box over to the TV one other thing that we have done is I have a bullet camera and I've taken this bullet camera and connected to it to the video input also on the TV and this is a postcard and at the very top is some really small lettering and if you take the bullet camera and position it over top you can now read what it says and you can also do this with prescription bottles pictures, any type of uh, anything that you, you can even put your hand. With the bullet camera what you have to do is you want to get one that has at least 420 lines of resolution. If you get a 380 line resolution it's not going to be uh, clear and good enough. You're going to get a lot of grain and it's going to be dark. So no less than 420 lines of resolution. That's what this camera is here. If you take 
the lens cap off, right here is the actual lens. And inside, right on the threads, there is a little screw. And if you unscrew that set screw, you can actually change these lenses. But what it also lets you do is as you screw the lens in and out, that's your focus. So these cameras are designed or set up, I should say, to be focused out in a normal setting. So if you're looking in someone's yard or if you're looking in a room or something, uh, they're not set to be close up. So what you do is you just loosen the set screw and you just start turning your lens in or out until the focus is where you want and then you just make sure that you have to hold it as far away from the picture or whatever you're looking at. Now what I haven't done yet is I'm going to get a little table for my dad and there's a little X and Y axis that I'm going to mount this to and you can buy those systems um, for the visually impaired where there is a camera that shoots down and you, and you hold your picture or your paper underneath but they cost around four thousand dollars. This I think it cost me about two hundred dollars for the camera and it does have a power zoom on it. I don't have the power zoom hooked up and the power zoom will let the camera be further away from the picture or the piece of paper and be able to zoom in on what you're trying to look at. We haven't gotten that all set up yet but I did want to show you that that is another alternative for someone that has seeing impaired is that they can use a camera to read very very small print and again I don't know if you can see how much that print is small but uh, it brings it up really well on the uh, TV here so if you have any questions just uh, send me an email I'd be more than happy to to tell you how we put this together for my dad and uh, maybe someone that you know that is visually impaired uh, could benefit from something like this also. So uh, thanks a lot.